Now, hang on, we're a minute early. Hmm? Your watch is slow. Oh. Wonder what he wants to see us about. I don't know. Our work's been all right, hasn't it? Well, mine has. Hey, perhaps it's about the nurse's dance. You know, the centipods in the wine cup. No, that was weeks ago. Anyway, Waring did that. He put them in. Yes, that was Waring's fault. Mm. And Collier. Mm. And Hooley. And Bridick. And you. And you. And me. Well, he must have forgotten about that by now. Yes, come on. There's only one way to find out why we've been summoned to the presence. Come. Good grief. Ah, uh, come in, you two. Uh, leave this moment now, will you? Thank you. Now, I expect you're wondering what this is all about. Mm. We were just wondering what this was all about, sir. <sighs> Alert as ever, Clark. Well, I'll tell you. We are being visited by some people from London Television who are going to make a film about St. Swithin's. Television? Television, Upton. The cause of so many cases of myopia, bad posture, stagnation of the blood and premature senility. Yes. <laughs> As I say, these television people are making a short film about the hospital. I've just given them a brief interview, which they seem to be quite pleased with. Unfortunately, for reasons best known to themselves, they seem keen on including some students in the film. It's very inconvenient just before finals, but... Uh, and uh, you want us to be in it, sir? Want is too strong a word, Mark. <laughs> in the event I can't imagine to be on the screen for more than five seconds, I'm sure they've got much more important things to film, but during those five seconds, you will behave with the dignity and propriety expected of this hospital and your chosen profession. Yes. Come. Hello, I'm not interrupting you, am I? No, 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 no. Do come in. Uh, these are the two students I told you about. This is the producer from London Television. Colin Starkey. Oh, hello. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, perhaps I could get you some scotch. Oh, thank you. I said that's very civil of you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, these are the two typical students, are they? Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I see. Well, uh, as I expect you've probably gathered, we're filming a small item on St. Swithin's. What we want to get is this student angle. We want to see everything through your eyes. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, mm. oh, thank you. Yes, we don't want anything corny like a day in the life of a medical student, so we'll just follow you around with the camera seeing what you do. Uh, chasing nurses, drinking beer, whatever you get up to. I don't know, that's what I'm here to find out. Yes? Just sort of behave naturally. That's it. Absolutely naturally. Just as if we weren't there. Right? All right? Hmm. Um, <laughs> right. Ah, yes. Well, uh, Dick, if you come and stand here. Yes, by that. Michael? Yeah. Right, sir. Uh, yes, that's fine. And you, sir, please. Yes, that's absolutely marvellous, sir. Do you, uh, do you always dress like this? Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. 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 Oh, I see. OK. Uh, well, what I want to get is a normal everyday teaching session. So if you'll just carry on, Professor, and treat the students as you usually do. God help us. <laughs> OK, fine. And turn over. Turning over. Sound running. Mark it. St. Swithin's teaching session, take one. And action. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, carry on now. Yes. Oh, right. Good evening. Here at St. Swithin's, we see many interesting patients. Uh, no, For example, no, this patient no, no, here is such... Professor, don't talk to us. Uh, just ignore the cameras and carry on as you normally do. It's the students that we're really interested in, OK? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, well, shall I go on? Yes, please. The camera's still running. Ah. Hmm. Yes. Uh, well, now, uh, Dr. Upton, I believe that you and your colleague, Dr. Stuart Clark, have already examined this patient and perhaps you can tell us what is wrong with her. Yes, sir. Uh, I have examined this patient. Yes. Go on. Uh, but Dr. Stuart Clark and I have examined this patient. And perhaps you can tell us what is wrong with her. Uh, 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 uh. Intermittent claudication, sir. Good, excellent, absolutely right. Quite correct. Yes, this patient is suffering from intermittent claudication. That is a term we doctors use for pain brought on by no. normal muscular effort no. and caused by a pathological Professor. narrowing of the large blood vessels we call Professor, arteries. Professor, don't you tell us. Leave it to the students, OK? 
The students? Yes, please. Ah, oh, I see, yes. You're doing very well. It's going fine. It's ah. fine. Ah, yes. Ah, thank you. Well, Dr. Upton, what do you understand by intermittent claudication? Yes, um, this is a term we doctors use, we students use, to describe, and doctors too use it, <laughs> to describe pain brought on by normal exercise, uh, effort, uh, due to arteries. What about the arteries, old chap? <laughs> narrow. The arteries are narrow. Uh, pathologically narrow. What do we do in this case, Dr. Upton? Well, you slit up, uh, you hack away the... <laughs> gouge out. Surgery, sir. Surgery. Very good. Yes, surgery is our first choice. But, sir, wouldn't you say that there are some doubts as to the success of surgery in these cases? Well, yes, Dr. Stuart Clark, but in my own series of cases, the results have been satisfactory, quite satisfactory. Ah, yes, but that's only in the short term, surely, sir. Now, what can you offer us in the long term? We can offer a great deal, Clark. If you take the trouble to keep up to date with your reading. But in certain <laughs> cases, sir, wouldn't you say that the physician can offer more than the surgeon? Why the distinction, Clark? A surgeon is only a physician with higher qualifications. Ah, now, I think you're evading the issue, sir. Clark, I'm not here to defend myself. <laughs> Great. Great. That's absolutely <laughs> marvellous. <laughs> yes, now, let's develop this free and frank discussion of the teacher-student relationship. Professor, I wonder if you could move just down here. That's fine. Get a nice tight shot over your shoulder. Uh, it's the students that I really want to see. That's fine. And go on, go on. Uh, sir, wouldn't you say that conservative therapy should be tried first? Conservative measures produce conservative results, Clark. Surgery is the answer. Oh, well, well, I'm not too sure. Oh, be quiet, Upton. Oh, stop. Stop there, please. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, I'm not going on. Oh, no, the, the discussion is just getting underway. It's no, to... I'm sorry. That is all. Just once more. I am a very busy man. Let's pick it up from where we left off. No, look, yes? to be perfectly frank with you, I think I'm wasting my time here. Oh, uh, Colin, we can go on for as long as you like. Mm. Oh, uh, no, no, I think we'll call it a day. We'll finish the rest tomorrow. I'm sorry, we weren't really very good for you. Oh, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I think we've got what we need. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> Isn't that Michael A. Upton, the famous TV poster? Yeah, I do believe you're right! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can we have your autograph, sir, Peter? Shove off. Has success spoiled Michael Upton? <laughs> I didn't see you at outpatients this morning, Mike. No, we were out filming. Oh, oh yes, of course. I mean, you stars don't have any time for doing any real work. It's very hard work filming. We had to do some OB stuff, exteriors, just a few wild shots for continuity. What's he on about, shooting wild OBs? Did you hit any? <laughs> Do you know, I don't know why we're not in this epic. Yeah, why can't we be TV personalities like him? Why should he get all the limelight? Hey, what are they doing in there, Mike? They're just doing an interview with Dick. I'm on next. Uh... Come on, lad. Why don't we nip in there first? Maybe they'll want to interview Great. us. I should think that's very unlikely. Um, how do I look? What do you mean? My uh, makeup. Hmm. <sighs> it's a bit paler than you normally wear it, Ducky. <laughs> no, uh, he's right, Michael. They have made you look a bit pale. A bit? My God, you go on TV looking like that, they'll think they're interviewing a corpse. Mm. <laughs> it's not as bad as that, is it? Yes. You want a bit of colour in your cheeks, a few mm. highlights. Hmm. Here. Look, uh, we'll smarten you up a bit, eh? Good it's all right, Duncan's an expert. Oh, he doesn't have a first thing. He does. Up. Oh, dear, the star's not throwing a tantrum, is he? Oh, oh, come along, Michael. You've got to look your best for the viewers. I've got to make you? a clap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you think that people have the wrong idea about medical students? Oh, certainly. Our public image is really quite untrue. People have no idea how we really spend our time. How do people think you spend your time? Oh, boozing, playing rugger, chasing nurses, that sort of thing. And don't you spend any of your time doing that sort of thing? Oh, no, hardly any at all. <laughs> Cut. OK, Liz, that was great. That was fine. Good. Let's get your friend in here. Michael! Hang on, hang on, don't come in yet. I want to get a shot of him coming to the bar, OK? OK. Just come in when I tell you, uh, right? OK, he's ready. Right, and turn over. Turning over. Start running. Mark it. Second student interview, take one. Right, just come in naturally, Mike. OK, cue Mike, and action.
Professor, can you just be chatting to Dick? Uh, friendly, off duty? Hmm? Mm. Right. Michael, just come in quite naturally, OK? Hey, Mike, do your John Wayne walk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, OK. Yes, sir. Michael comes in, just to greet him as you would do, a couple of lines of conversation. What shall we say? Oh, anything. Just improvise, you know, relax. Uh, and then call over the nurse, OK? Ah, yeah. Right, and turn over. Turning over, sound running. Mark it. Second student interview, take two. Act two, Mike, and action. <laughs> Hold it. Uh, can, can we do an FM? Uh, we could pretend to be students. Yeah. No! Oh, Get out of the way, Wally. Thank you, thank you, lads. It's all right, thanks very much. Well, I, I say, uh, perhaps we could watch. Oh, sure. Oh, no, no, I'd rather they didn't. Huh? I'm sorry, lads. Outside. See you later. I'll okay. swore into the seat. Yes, we have that. Yes, we have that. Very good. Okay. Right. Just walk in, okay? A couple of lines of chat. Beckham. Okay. Camera still running? Still running. And cue mic and action. Um, sorry. Oh, sorry. But there doesn't seem to be a nurse for me to call. And anyway, nurses are not allowed in the bar. Just pretend you're in the corridor. Beckon, and then carry on, OK? Yeah, but I'm not an actor, you know, and it would help if there was actually somebody for me to call it, but give me, um, uh, motivation, if that's what you call it. Uh, could I be the nurse? Uh, fine, fine. Oh, no. You just beckoned to Mr... Uh, Waring. Sir. Waring, that's oh, no, fine. I... You stand right there. Camera still running. Sure, running. And cue mic, and action. Oh, mic. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh, uh, well, Michael, I hope you enjoyed my lecture. Oh, yes, it was very interesting. You creep. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, do the beckoning. Ah, uh, yes, ah. Uh. <laughs> Nurse. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, Wait, get out! Go away and do some work. Mr Stark is trying to make a serious film about medical students. He's not auditioning for Opportunity Knocks. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Human as old git. <laughs> I do apologise. You can't have got a single foot of film worth using. No, 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 that's fine. We've got quite a lot. Camera's still running. Still running. Let's do the beckoning bit again, OK? Ah, uh, yes. And mm. action. Ah, <laughs> uh, nurse, was that all right? <laughs> well... That does it. Yeah, well, they're all flaming stage struck. That's their trouble. Hey, is that a script? Yeah, I nicked it. They won't miss it. There's hundreds of them lying around. What are they doing next? Um, yeah, here we are. Um, interview with Richard. Professor Michael Richard. Informal chatter. That'll be what they've just done. Mm. Michael, in-depth interview on morals in medicine. My God, they're treating him like Malcolm yeah. Muggeridge. Yeah, then interviews <laughs> with, with patients in women's surgical ward. Professor Loftus at home. Why aren't mm. we in it? Hey, perhaps you will be. What was that about interviews? Interviews with patients in women's surgical. Uh, yeah, but when? Uh, about half an hour. Oh, right. Come on! Whoa! Oh, Where are we going? So thank you so much for showing us that. Uh, do you have a job to get back to when you leave here? No, but I'd like to be a model. <laughs> right, cut. Is that all? That's plenty. Right, who's next, Liz? The old dear number six. What's her name? Crabtree. Hello, Mrs. Crabtree. Right, come on, let's get on with it. Tea in five minutes. Right, cameras. Yep. Ready? Ready. Right. OK, love? Yeah. Right, that's fine. And turnover. Turning over. Sound running. Second patient interview, take one. And action. And what is your name, my dear? I'm Mrs. Crabtree. <laughs> I'm 82. An 82! <laughs> that thing working. I don't trust his new finger gadgets. An 82! Yes, sir. Are you enjoying yourself in hospital? No. Huh. You're not still a black eye, are you? <laughs> this isn't that candid camera, is it? <laughs> uh, no, we are making a film about medical students. Now, do you ever come into contact medical with... Medical students? They're a waste of the taxpayers' money. <laughs> All they care about is chasing them pretty nurses. Do you know that? Hey, come here. I've had them after me, too, you know. <laughs> I'm terrified of them. <laughs> oh, yes, but you, you have some very nice nurses to look after you, though, don't you? No, they're horrible and they're cruel. 
They're not kind like you. Ah, I wish I had you looking after me. You're all right, you are. <laughs> uh, would you prop me pillow up for me? There's a lot. Thank you very much. Would you prop me? Ah, lovely. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we could learn some more about the medical students. Ah, I could tell you a thing or two about them. They're a bad lot. Ah, oh, why do you dislike them so much? Is this Mrs. Crabtree? Mm. Uh, yes. She's very sweet, isn't she? Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm sorry. Uh, do carry on. Go on. It's all right. Oh. Shh, shh, shh. Um, How's the uh, fun, my dear Mrs. Crabtree? You know what I like, Mrs. Crabtree? Oh, no! Uh, hang on a minute. Um, uh, Colin. Hmm? Um, Colin, we usually give Mrs. Crabtree her enema about now. Uh, would that be of any use to you? Yes. That would be great. Go ahead. She's just been going on about how much she hates students. Really? Well, that's not like her. No, not a bit like her. OK, Liz, out the way. Camera's still running. Still running. Right. Uh, Mrs. Crabtree, the boy's going to give you your enema. What? OK, if we film it. Right. Oh. <laughs> and action. Well, this is the time we usually give Mrs. Crabtree her enema. It's a bit painful, but she's a very brave lady and she doesn't mind it a bit. <laughs> do you, Mrs. Crabtree? Yes, I do. Here we are, Mrs. Crabtree. I don't want it today. Here it comes. No, I don't want it today. <laughs> While we're at it, we'd better have a look at that bad leg of yours. Oh, 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 good heavens, your legs have turned green. Ah, we better inject those. Oh, right. Get off! Oh, 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 so were you. Yes. Well, we're missing all the fun. No, it's not much fun, you know. It's a very serious business making a film and very hard work. I've been incredibly tensed up all week. Oh. Well, I wouldn't like to be a professional actor, would you, Mike? Oh, no. I mean, apart from anything else, it's a very false world. Mm, very false. Colin was telling me how he feels many actors lose track of their true identity. Yes, yeah, very true. Well, you're Michael Upton and you're Dick Stewart Clark. I know you bear a passing resemblance to, uh, Julie Andrews and Rex Harrison. You are both medical students and you've both got your finals coming up. And you're both late for Loftus's lecture and so are we. Oh, well, hang on, we can't go yet. Uh, Colin wants a few last shots in here. Oh, tough. Hang on, hang on, lads. We just want a few more no, shots. Look, so students relaxing sorry. around the bar, that sort of thing. Oh, right, so the I'm camera's sorry, rolling. We've got to go to a lecture. We haven't got time. Now, come no. on, we better go. Yeah. The drinks are on me. Oh, right, oh, what are we going to have? Oh, right, now, come on, fill them up, quickly. Let's have a few glasses raised here. We're relaxing after the lectures, that's it. Uh, yes, uh, Dick, uh, when you've got a drink there, get up on the back there. And uh, you too, Mr Waring, that'll be fine. Come on, lads, hurry up, hurry up. Now, we're all relaxing. You know, smiles, cheers. 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 That's it. Yes, yeah, a little jollity. Yes. Right, that's fine. OK. Are there any girls here? Um, no, not quite. No, that's a pity. I wanted to get the student girlfriend bit. Oh, Dave, you're just in time. Ah. Look, am I going to be in this Love, film? can we uh, borrow you for a moment? What? Oh, it's all right. We'll give her back. <laughs> now, who do you fancy for a boyfriend? I'm her boyfriend. Oh, no, I'm afraid we'll have to have one of the stars. Oh. Um, Dick. Uh, sorry, Mike, it's the uh, Dirk Bogard touch they want. <laughs> yes. Now, if you were... Uh, wait, wait for it. Let's get over the bar, yes? Now, uh, just gentle chat, and then you say you've got to go, OK? Uh, kiss her and goodbye. Okay. No, listen. All right, and action. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my dear, but I must go to Loftus's lecture. <laughs> must you go? Yes, I'm afraid I must. <laughs> Okay, uh, Dick, yes, I think the kiss of life works, yes, that's fine. <laughs> right, now, come on, now, I just want one final shot. Make it a real beer bath, okay? Um, St. Swithin's has just won the inter-hospital rug. Okay, yes, come on. Now, get the glasses going. Yes. I'm on them splashing, slopping about. You Sing well it. Well 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 Hello, sir. 
We were just on our way to your lectures. <laughs> Colin was just filming up. A... Are you coming, sir? <laughs> you weren't filming that bear garden, were you? No, 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 no. Okay, cut and wrap. No, you were just getting a few shots around the bar and they got a bit out of hand. Mm, I don't want to spoil the hospital image, you know what I mean? I'm rather looking forward to seeing us on television. I think I should be probably rather proud of us. Has it started yet? Hello, uh, stars making an entrance. <laughs> We've just switched on. I can't even remember what they filmed. Oh, it should be some great bits. Yes, it should be very interesting. Sit down. <clears throat> oh, sorry, sir. Well, come along. Turn it up. Get started. I didn't say so before, but from what I saw, by and large, generally speaking, you acquitted yourselves admirably. I think you will be a credit to St. Swithin's. Thank you, sir. Medical mm. students. People tend to think of them as boozy, hearty, fun-loving. But is that really a true picture? Here at St. Swithin's hey! Hospital, where the state pays for the education of 250 medical students, we've been finding out just how they spend our money and their time. Hey! <laughs> Medical students, they're a waste of taxpayers' money. Just how does the average student spend his five years of training? Oh, boozing, playing rugger, chasing nurses, that sort of thing. So does that leave them much time for work? Oh, no, hardly any at all. We haven't got time. And the students going down behind the bar. Informal student-teacher relationships are encouraged, but can a teacher who is also a friend really command respect? <laughs> to be perfectly frank with you, I think I'm just wasting my time here. <laughs> Medical students, they're a waste of taxpayers' money. Well, are they? Here in the studio to discuss the film of St. Swithin's Hospital, which we've just seen, 